So, welcome here on the shooting range at MEC in Dortmund. Today I want to show you how to build up a standing position, the basics of standing position. For this reason, I have a balance and position board here. This I put before the start on the direct line to the target and square to the firing line. So when I stand on this board, I have the straight line to the target and this is left or right exactly square in front of the target. In the middle of the board there is a line and I put my feet on the center of this line for the moment. This is a normal position. If I meet somebody on the marketplace, I stand like this and talk with him or her. From starting from this normal position, the first thing is I bring my left feet as close as possible to the fire line because I don't want to give away distance. And I bring it to the middle of the center line to the target. Most shooters turn it in a little bit. I don't know the reason, maybe because it looks so beautiful. Then the right leg normally goes a little bit more out and most shooters give it a little bit turn to open. Let's take it as a rule. Uh, I just copy it here from the very good shooters we've seen here before. So, this means this was my normal position and now I lean forward, bring my hip over the left leg and now I get a straight line down for the left leg. Bringing forward the hip to the target in a parallel way, there is no turn, it's just parallel to the target. Bringing it forward means as well to bring it up a little bit. So my hip bone now comes 2-3 centimeters higher and this I enjoy when I want to rest my arm and my rifle. So, basic position, feet hip and uh, forward with the bones. As you can see, when I bring the hip forward, I didn't move my upper body, so the upper body stays more or less in the line uh, down. The next step in building up the position is the way I fix my left arm. And this now goes to the hip bone, to the left one, which I put forward and higher to give it a nice rest. And to connect here the pillar of bones, so I have the bones on my hand, I have the bones of my left arm, I have the hip bone and the bones of the leg. They build a stable pillar where I can rest any amount of weight without using any strengths. This is the main idea of the position. The stand, hold without any strengths. So, let's talk about the shoulders. The shoulders should not be turned. As the hip is not turned, they should stand more or less straight to the target. Normally the left shoulder goes a little bit down the right goes a little bit higher. This is coming from the forward movement for the turn of the upper body. So, last element is the left arm. This should be uh, close somewhere to the left shoulder. So it should not be here, it should not be there, it should be somewhere here. And the left elbow, please don't hold it up there it would move in the position, get it down as much as possible, it should touch your chest, it should touch the shooting jacket, because then it makes a unit and the unit won't move. 
So here is my hand. It should be straight at the end. No things like that or this or that. So just keep it in a normal straight position. This makes it most comfortable and makes it easier to pull the trigger. Last movement in my position is the turn of the head. This I have to turn to the target. I have to move it a little bit down to come to the diopter. And this is uncomfortable but necessary. So here somewhere will be my head at the end. This is the standing position. If you are at home or if you are preparing a training, you could stand in this position for a while, breathe over your stomach, feel the, the strengths and the tensions in your position and try to lose it, and try to find the balance, be sure that the weight is in the middle of your feet. So after a while, it feels something like natural. It isn't. It is an orthopedic disaster, but if you do it for a long time, uh, it starts to feel normal. So, this is a standing position. I make a break to relax my old bones. Um, the next step we have to show, or we want to see, is the Oh, the use of the rifle. So I have here my experimental uh, rifle with all the prototypes you, you have seen. Wait a moment. Uh, Red Dot is her name. Um, the first thing is I put my tree pot, which should be, my friends from all over the world, close to the direction of firing, not here, because then you will uh, point the rifle on your neighbor, not here, this is too far away, just get it as close as possible. I take the front line of the position board to mark the spot, the center of the tree pot. The height of the tree pot is given by the rules, it should be not higher than my left shoulder in position. So, next thing is my rifle. Oops, up, up. Um, it's not possible to find a good position if the rifle has the wrong dimension. So the first uh, fact, the fourth dimension of your rifle is the length of the back stock. This is what we measure from the front side of the grip to the end of the hook. This should have a length that in position my right hand is uh, in the line to the left shoulder. If I bring the rifle in and I go into my position, the hand now the grip should be in a line with my left shoulder. This is fine. If not, I could uh, regulate it with a beautiful rifle like this for millimeters even in position. The next interesting fact or dimension of a rifle is the balance. I have to turn a little bit. So if I hold my rifle here, it should be a little bit front heavy. This means this is the point of support and the point of gravity is two centimeters in front of the point of support so that the rifle goes forward like this. This is for two reasons. One is this moves my rifle into the shoulder automatically and as we find out it's good for the stability and the sinking of the rifle during position. So rifle always a little bit front heavy. If you lose it here, it should fall smooth forward. Okay, length is given, 
balance of the rifle is given. Let's take a few minutes more to demonstrate the way of moving the rifle to the target and back from the target. And let's imagine that we do this 60 times in a, comp a competition, so we don't want to lose energy and time. And most important, we don't ruin our position with every shot. We don't want to take two minutes to rebuild it. So, what we see in the moment of the most top shooters, I start after the shot. So, before I go down with my head, I carefully control the tensions and the balance, take a breeze, and I can stand for this really for hours because the bones are holding the rifle, the position itself is a stable construction. Fire my shot and follow through. First thing I go up with the rifle, over and lean it on the tree pot. Um, now I don't move as few things as possible in my position. First version is just I take the left hand, load the rifle. And all the other things stay as they were before. All I have to do now is find my hand position. And now I bring the rifle at first straight up, straight over, until it's uh, 12 o'clock above the target. And then I go carefully down, rest it on my hip bone, feel all connections and tensions. Because like this I can stand for hours. When everything is all right, I breathe over the stomach and then I go down to my target. Rifle up, over and down. Second way of loading is using your right hand. This keeps your left hand uh, where it was before and the connection of the elbow as well. And only the right hand has to find the new uh, constellation on the grip. And up, over, directly over the target and slowly down. And now I show you the last method of loading, which you see in some top shooters in the moment. They load with the right hand, left hand stays, shoulder stays, they take the ammunition somewhere closer, I hope, load, close, and can go on firing. few seconds later. This way of loading was seen first in small ball shooting, where sometimes under wind conditions good shooters want to fire 10 shots in 3 minutes when the wind is down and they want to have enough time when the wind comes up to wait for the next wind break. Uh, meanwhile we see this in air rifle as well, as we can load them this way as we have a better uh, lower hand rest. Uh, in air rifle many shooters do it because uh, it saves time in the final. So if you have the sequence of five shots in 
two minutes any shit. Uh, you can get into uh, uh, tactical problems if the time is not enough. If you load in position, you can really fire five shots in uh, two minutes, or one and a half minutes without any problems. If you are a beginner, take the easy way of loading with the left hand. If you want to stay uh, Olympic final, try it with the right hand loading in position. Little tip, if you do it right hand, then it may be nice to make your stock a centimeter shorter because this gives you uh, an easier hand. Okay, this is our short story about position and loading. Hope you understood, hope you enjoyed. If not, uh, give me your questions. Thank you very much. I'm not used to...